The Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it's been just a lovely day as we get ready for the big homecoming period coming up later this week. Festivals at Cadian this weekend and today enjoying mostly sunny skies, relatively dry air, and then a powerful hurricane making landfall. Record breaking hurricane for the Florida Panhandle, one of the strongest storms to strike the U.S. In fact, the strongest one since Hurricane Andrew back in 1992. Hard to believe here we are on October 10th and we see that system uh, doing that. So here's the big picture as the storm was making landfall at 1230 this afternoon. Uh, Michael was packing 155 mile per hour winds just shy of a category five storm. You can see where Panama City is. Mexico Beach right over here. They got rocked as did Apalachicola as well with big storm surge. And then now the system moving well inland. It's in Georgia now just to the south and west of Albany, Georgia. And as you go uh, a little bit farther to the west, here's Dothan, Alabama. Alabama. So we're in the extreme southwestern portion of Georgia with this system. Still a hurricane, but now down to a category two storm. This is what it looked like offshore with the high uh, surf and winds developing at least 31 foot seas uh, showing up on uh, buoy 42039. But uh, more than likely 40 to 50 foot waves came in and pushed water up against the shoreline. So a massive storm surge of up to 13, perhaps 14 feet. We won't know until we do the damage surveys. Meanwhile, north winds for us close to home from the offshore platforms means the tides are coming down and they will be coming down nicely overnight tonight through tomorrow. Here are the wind gusts earlier today. Look at Panama City, 129 mile an hour wind gusts, very rare. And then some of the reporting stations go out or not reporting gusts, but you can guess which stations don't have electricity right now and moving into uh, uh, Georgia as well. But sustained wind gusts still in the 60, 70 range at reporting stations and wind gusts as high as maybe 115, 120 still with this storm. Here's the anatomy and looking back at the storm when it became a tropical storm, it gained a lot of heat flux from the northwestern Caribbean, very warm water temperatures, and then something different happened as it got in the Gulf. It sealed itself off on the western side of the storm away from the shear that we were expecting to impart against the storm. So this became a powerful major hurricane during the course of the last 24, 36 Six hours with two rapid intensification cycles. Now the system category two uh, down to 100 mile an hour winds moving smartly, which is good north northeast at 13. And again, tropical storm conditions likely moving through South Carolina and North Carolina over the next 24 to 36 hours. And look at this hurricane warnings going so far into Georgia. Then after that tropical storm warnings as we get into the Carolinas who are still reeling. The water has gone down uh, from Hurricane Florence, but these folks don't want any more tropical trouble. Meanwhile, on the backside of this system, nice dry north winds moving in today. Temperatures dropping down nicely tonight. A gorgeous day tomorrow and even cooler tomorrow night as high pressure banks down into the area and sets us up for a nice Saturday. By Sunday, this frontal trough to the west will bring a return flow back out of the Gulf of Mexico. So some clouds, maybe a few showers as we head into Sunday afternoon, but the weekend still looking good. 95% uh, of it for sure. So tonight, Tonight, upper 50s to lower 60s. It's been five months since we've been able to say that. And then tomorrow, upper 70s to lower 80s. Comfortable humidity, wall to wall sunshine. Then tomorrow night, even cooler, low to mid 50s. So feeling very fresh Friday morning, or that could be your attitude as well. And then going into Friday afternoon, a mostly sunny and pleasant day. Temperatures in the upper 70s. And look at this. The feels like temperature, exactly like the temperatures. So fall finally arriving, fresh northwest breeze, open up the windows, at least on the cars when you're driving home this evening or round and about. Feeling good tomorrow with wall to wall sunshine. Temperatures top out near 80. Normal for this time of year is 83, so it's about time we get near normal. A little bit warmer, but beautiful weather through the weekend, but Sunday a little warmer. Slight rain chance late. Better chance of showers next week, but look at the temperatures going into next week. Even cooler for hot. We're already discussing yeah. our sweater attire. And, yeah. You know, yeah, time to break out the sweaters. And all no that, more you know. shaming me for a few months. No. No, no, it no. worked, you're, you're though, Rob. It oh, did work. Okay, you it did work. That. But don't tell anybody else. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Rob. Still